So we're about to pass Lake Casitas on our way back down to Ventura. And when we were kids, my dad used to, after my parents, but my dad used to pick us up every single weekend. But one of the things that he liked to do with us was he used to take us out into nature all the time because it was like being one with God. And so he used to take all of his kids on these nature hikes and we'd start really early in the morning and all we would have is a bag of nuts that we're not allowed to eat. And this, he used to get those glass bottles, he still does, and it used to be filled with apple juice and once he drinks all the apple juice, he would refill it with water. Eventually it would grow algae and he'd still drink out of it. Um, you can always find him in the floor of the back seat of whatever car he's driving in. But he would make us carry the nuts in the water and he would hike us up into God knows where in the mountains of Ojai to get the right lighting just when the sun is setting so that he can take pictures of us kids with the natural light because he was really obsessed with natural lighting. And so he wouldn't feed us. My dad's whole thing was he used to only feed us once a day. My mom, being Sicilian, felt like she always needed to cook for an army. And so we would be with my mom and we ate like we were all gluttons. And when we were with my dad, we did only ate one meal a day, literally. And it was at the end of the day and it was a very small budget and all four of us kids had to split it and figure it out. But that was one of the nature hikes. Um, and I can see now why my older sister Heather's really traumatized about camping or being out in nature. She's a city kid and she really likes the concrete jungle. But that's where that comes from. And she's really traumatized over that. Or the other thing that he loved doing was going out to Lake Casitas and renting one of the little motor boats for the day. And he would bring he would bring potatoes lay chips. Oh yeah. And um, French onion dip. <laughs> and sandwich fixings to make liverwurst sandwich. Which, by the way, I was the only child that liked liverwurst. Oh, I liked it too. Did you? Oh yeah. Heather hates it. So does Nathan. It's good stuff. I guess, I think that's where I acquired the taste because that's what we had to eat. And we weren't allowed to eat till the end of the day and we all got to take turns driving the boat and we'd drive around the islands and he would take photographs. And then eventually at the end of the day, we would park somewhere along the island and we got to make sandwiches and eat chips and dip. And that was our meal of the day. Do the best that? part was the, his algae infested water bottles. <laughs> we would run out of water because it was five or six of us in a boat with one gallon of water for the whole freaking day. That's it. And he literally would refill the bottles in the lake. In the lake? That? Yes, in the no lake. No filter, no nothing. And we're like, oh yeah, this is our drinking water. Let's just drink it. And we did. And we did because we are like, okay, whatever. But that water is nasty now that I know about <laughs> it. It's so dirty. Well, not just that, but you're not allowed to swim in Lake Casitas and you're not supposed to fish in Lake Casitas because you're not supposed to contaminate the water. But it's a man-made lake, so it's like, it's the it's stagnant, dirty gross water. Yes, I do remember that. But yes, he used to refill the algae-filled waters. He probably is the source of the water problem. <laughs> <laughs>